All right, cellulitis. Nothing to mess around with. It's a, a very, very serious thing that can take your life if you're not careful. Uh, real quick, um, how I got it, I don't really know. A lot of times people get cellulitis. They have absolutely no idea how they get it. Uh, it's contracted through, um, through cuts in the skin, things like that. <clears throat> how I think that I might have got it. All I know is uh, <clears throat> I was at work. I was on a forklift. I was uh, ha I was stopped on a forklift at my job. I worked at a, at a place that um, sold furniture, big appliances, things like that. And I was stopped. And I had uh, my blades on the ground. And I was looking at some paperwork on my forklift probably pulling a customer order or getting ready to load a truck, something like that. Well, a guy was coming up behind me on a forklift and not paying attention, okay? And I, th I think he was looking down at paperwork. That's what he said anyway and took his eyes, you know, off of what was in front of him. And uh, that split second, <laughs> he's coming up from behind me and just hits me. Hits the back of my forklift a ton. And um, I had my lap belt on, my seat belt on, but I flew forward in the seat because he hit me so hard. And uh, my legs flew forward up underneath the dash. He hit me so hard. And uh, both of my shins were split wide open. I mean, it looked like somebody hit my, my shin bones with a ball bat. You know, I had two big eggs on both uh, both shins, you know, just split wide open. And uh, I got off the forklift. I walked it off, you know. Um, my upper management was like, dude, are you all right? I'm like, yeah. You know, and really, I was hurting. But I didn't want them to know. You know, I shook it off. I was like, yeah, man, I ain't got time to bleed. You know, I pulled a Jesse Ventura on them. From Predator. I ain't got time to bleed. I got work to do, man. I got money to make. I worked the rest of that day. I was hurting, boy. My, my shins were killing me, okay? I ain't gonna lie to you. But, uh, so I continued to work, and a couple days later, I had a started running fever. <clears throat> I'm talking 104.5 type fever. I ran a fever for a week. I'm like, I'll be all right. I'll be all right. I'll be all right. So uh, my girlfriend at the time was like, look, if you don't go to the doctor, we're going to have some serious problems. You're going. Okay. So um, I ended up going to the doctor and... She's like, well, what's the problem? I'm like, I'm running a fever. I feel sick. You know, I feel weak. And she's like, well, maybe, maybe you got flu type symptoms. I'm like, no, I'm not sneezing. I'm not coughing. Nothing like that. She's like, is there anything else? Is there anything else? Now, I was getting ready to leave. You know, this was wrapping it up in the office, uh, in the office building. So in, in her office. We were just about done. She, she really couldn't put a, a finger on what the deal was. I said, I got these red streaks on my left thigh, and it just, I don't know what it is. She's like, let me look at that. And she just jumps up. She's like, you've got cellulitis. I'm like, I've got what? She's like, it's like a sort of like a staph infection, but it's way, way worse. You need to go to the hospital now. So she put in a special order for me. I went to the emergency room. They got me right in immediately. And uh, they did an ultrasound on it. And they're like, look at this. You've got all kinds of infection here in your leg. I'm like, what are you talking about? They're like, it's cellulitis. This is serious, man. When I got to the hospital, by the way, my blood pressure was like 60-something over 40-something. I couldn't even drive myself, okay? Um, I could barely stand. I couldn't stand for more than, you know, I'd say two or three minutes and I'd start feeling weak and dizzy and 
So anyway, they set me up for immediate surgery. They explained to me, we're going to have to cut this out. I'm like, oh, great, man. You're going to have to cut me open. So had the surgery. They said that it looked like a stick of sausage worth of just pus and nastiness that they pulled out of my thigh, my inner thigh. Don't know still to this day how I got it. Probably a cut or something, uh, infection, I don't know. But let me tell you, man, uh, when they were rubbing on it, doing the um, ultrasound, that was some of the worst pain I've ever had in my life. Uh, it, it felt like my leg had been hit with a sledgehammer, okay? Just barely touching the skin would just send me through the roof. It was horrible, horrible. Uh, I was in the hospital for 11 days, 11 days, watching crappy stuff on TV, um, <laughs> um, eating some nasty food. They had a couple things that were all right, but, you know, for the most part, it was some nasty stuff. And uh, 11 days um, was on the... Uh, crutches for a while and they don't sew up an injury like this okay they um want it want it to heal from the inside out so they stuff it full of gauze two or three times a day pull it out restuff it they were giving me a uh, dilated which is a high high painkiller uh, they were trying to give me morphine to, to kill the pain uh, apparently, I had some kind of uh, reaction to the morphine. They had a pick line, what they call a pick line. That's um, It goes directly to your heart. So as soon as they put that stuff in there, you feel it almost instantly. Uh, they did that because they were pumping me full of so much meds that they didn't want to keep sticking me, right? So I had this permanent pick line in my arm, and they just put that stuff in that line, and it goes straight to the heart. They'd give me morphine, and it, it was like a shot of adrenaline. It would just, you know, I'm like, I don't like how this makes me feel. Uh, give me something else. So they gave me Dilaudid. Uh, they were giving me $6,000 bags of um, some sort of antibiotic high, high, you know, strength stuff to uh, stop the infection from spreading because they told me, you know, you're on the verge of going uh, septic, and if this spreads you could die i'm like my god they're like anytime something you is wrong like this you don't run a fever of 104 for a week straight you need to go to the doctor i'm like yeah so i really started thinking about it really started telling myself look man you are you are not invincible so but yeah that's the worst pain that i've ever had in my life um horrible horrible pain anytime i'd try to go uh, it was on my inner thigh so anytime i would go to the restroom and i'd sit down that thing would just bust open pus blood nastiness everywhere um three times a day we, we had to pull the gauze out of the wound i mean it was a wound the size of, of my friggin fist and they had to go in there pull all that nastiness out stuff it with gauze and they would come in there and do that twice a day had one nurse come in there a guy and he was just rough you know pulling it out shoving it back in i grabbed him by the forearm and squeezed so hard that uh, i think i bruised the guy up pretty good but i was like hey man you're hurting me dude be a little more gentle needless to say i never saw him him again but um it, it hurt, man, having to go through that time after time, daily. Uh, it was some, some bad pain, but it's got to heal from the inside out uh, to make sure all the infection is gone. So cellulitis, uh, I guess you would say it's similar to a staph infection, just far, far worse. You can die from it uh, if it spreads you know, throughout your body. So, uh, I wanted to get on here and I wanted to talk about cellulitis. Just, you know, um, it's a serious thing. If you ever start feeling a, a really bad ache, 
in a part of your body and you, you don't know why, go have it checked out, man, please, because you do not want to let that go. Uh, you start feeling weak, running fever, you see red streaks on that particular part of your body, just weird looking vertical, horizontal, whatever lines it gets real red and hot to the touch. Go get checked out. You do not want to let it go and let it spread. So uh, this is just a little talk about cellulitis. 11 days I was in the hospital. So um, think about it. Take care of yourself. Uh, Got to take care of yourself. Um, so... If you like this video, please share it. As always, click on the bell to the right to be notified of all my future videos as well as when I do a live stream. Right now, those are coming on Tuesdays, 10.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. So thank you for watching. And uh, if you're recovering from cellulitis or if you've had it, you definitely know what I'm talking about. Um, if you just uh, had surgery or something like that, just allow it. You know, st try not to use that part of your body as you know, unless you absolutely have to. Uh, make sure that you keep it, keep the area clean. Uh, do what the doctors tell you to do. You you will bounce back from it. So um, just take it easy.